What up, what up, what up? Friday, February 24th, 2017, and this is For Show Radio. Now, as usual, do you want to hear video over there so we can come on? That'd be a great thing. Well, you... We're coming to your press and hold live from FB Live and also live from Instagram. I don't think this one is working. If well, I mean, there, this is your fucked up let shit us know here, something. man. I, I can't... Listen, if y'all there, I, let I, us know I something. I no, no, no. See, it is. See? I, 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 it is. What's up, Danielle? You know, I mean, you broke it. Stop it. All right, man. You know, before y'all here, we got to let you know. Look, Percy's What's here. What's up, Danny? Percy's oh, out of the drunk no. tank. He's Percy here. is here. Have Kim you sobered Ross up yet, Percy? Kim. What up, Kimmy? All right, man. I've had my vitamins today. Bro, can we can we start? Shut up, nigga. Can we start? For Show Radio, what's up, Norm? This is For Show. Norm! He is the Cardinal. <laughs> Strike a pose, bitch! Shut up, Norm! Me, <laughs> and we are proud, blessed, and grateful to be bringing it to you one more Friday. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for that. So, we got a lot of topics we're going to cover today. Oh, we're yeah. going to kind of give some people, you know, time to kind of get in. Freestyle and, and, Friday! And, 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 and it's Freestyle Friday, but we do have some things we're going to cover. So, hopefully you'll weigh in on those. We got a new number this week. Look at me. 404 at 697 Jesus. 704. They need to know the number. They can't concentrate just by looking at me. It's the area code. Yeah, I'm sure they want to throw up in their yeah. mouth. 697. Oh, please throw up with love. 7048. Love for the car. Oh, could you start that? You want to hit next? Thing. Listen, I. Damn it. Dang, dude. See, we got another camera trying to get this. No, no, just leave it alone. Stupid leave damn leave Instagram leave shit. See, now it won't work at all. Wait, wait a minute, here it is no, right there. No, no. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, he, he, he just has no... Damn it! No nothing. I apologize. So now we're doing Facebook Live just and stop. Instagram, just, just but stop. this clown is a just technical stop, uh, moron. Stop, I already, I held that down. No. God damn it. Look. Okay, anyway, y'all. All right, here we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, for sure, radio, back again. Yeah, very unprofessional. Some people call him... The leader of the Church of the Conspiracy. Oh, they all call me that. I'll just let him say what that means. Get out the way so we can get going. And they call me many things, no, but they better not call me late for go dinner. You, you Strike a pose. I am Cardinal Dave, right. leader of the Church of the Conspiracy. The where we weeks, believe, be duties. quiet, that everything is fixed. From what? Sports to politics. And when I say strike a pose, bitch, mm -hmm. that means I'm making you famous. Mm -hmm. You know, like the runway so model that walks see. down the aisle and the paparazzi takes yeah, her picture you, and they say strike a pose, bitch. Up, yeah. And then they send her to an organic farm to eat doo-doo. Really? Well, that's what it is. Okay, anyway. Oh, we'll Here's talk about it tonight. Hey, check this out, you all. What up, yo, yo? What's that? Um, you can't play with the yo, radio. yo. Really? Well, that's what I mean, I know you're happy to be back, but really... You're, really? had, you're happy I'm Chris back too, Williams, what's up, so brother? I can bail you out of your food. What we're system. asking you to do, because you're watching this on your phone, you're watching this on Facebook Live, hit share. Look at me, I am one hit share. sexy dude, human. Dude, dude, look, really, we got to get going with it. Well, then get to going. I mean, your, your, your stick is What do you got, played. ADD? Your stick is played, man. People, uh, they're trying to concentrate what's going on. Hit share. <laughs> hit share, why? Because this is the only show that's on for you. This is a community. We all kick it. Community farming. 404 697 <laughs> We want you to weigh in. Yolanda, I want you to weigh in. Makisha, I definitely want you to weigh in. Chris, weigh in. Y'all got a call this in. week, man. Y'all right? got a call. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking to you already. So don't say anything about Trump, bitch. <laughs> I love Trump. I know. He's the one that doesn't like Trump. No, I think I Trump is the care. shiznit. I don't care. Greg Foster, what's happening? All right. Norm, Norm using foul language. What movie traumatized you as a child? We're going to talk about that for oh, years of yeah. exorcism. I'm sure if a lot of you was some on that nature, we're going to talk about that. Um, organic farming is taking off. Detroit has America's first urban, organic, self-sustaining neighborhood. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. We'll talk about that. He wants to talk about Candace Wiggins stating that 99% of the NBA is gay. Well, she said 98. Okay, but, either or. We're going to talk about that. Well, he's going to yeah. talk about that. You had some thoughts on it. Yeah, reverse one. discrimination. Uh, Dr. Dre's $35 million gift to University of Southern California. Yeah. And how the president of Dillard University, HBCU, had a problem with that. 
Well, why? Because they're going broke. Although this is a personal beef I have, I have a problem with Dillard University. I do too. Not you, current graduates, but some real personal in my family. My mother grew up K through 12, got all A's, all A's. Was accepted at Dillard back in the 60s. Then they asked her to send in a picture. We're not ready to take them yet. We're not going to ask her to send in a picture. And it turns out she obviously was not. She didn't pass the paper bag test, so she couldn't go to Dillard University. We got a call well, already. That's what but I'm talking we about. We got a call. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I what's, hope y'all going to wake up this what's, week. What's, 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 Don't you want to talk to the Cardinal? I'm back. Damn it. Ain't we ain't playing it, around. You Stop shut it. your mouth. Stop it. For Show Radio, what's up? Strike a pole. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Yolanda. Hey, Yolanda. What's, what's up, on? yo, yo? What are you doing? You are. I'm stupid I just, deaf. I was just calling to say the movie that scared me to death was Jaws. Jaws. You scared Jaws. me. Jaws. Whoa. Oh, you're lying. So you had like nightmares about the shark and everything? Or the people told you to go come get you? What? It, the, the shark used to like can come up the stairs. <laughs> But it never did so that it in like the Sharp movie. Nagel, Sharp was doing everything. Yolanda didn't do that in the movie. That's all right, though. What do you she, like? was, she was a child, dude. Was, You're I a was child. Five. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Took me to see Jaws. Pick, break, break this down. Give us this picture of your nightmare. You actually saw the fish. Did it have legs while it was First, walking up the steps? We, how how did it go up these What's steps? Up, how did this happen? It kind of like um. What up, Fi? Like, it just kind of went up the stairs. I don't remember. I just remember screaming and hollering and waking up. Screaming my, to my mom, Jaws is going to get me. I understand. Yolanda, that, that is incredible. Part of we it. About, we got to move thing. on. Thank you, Yolanda. No, you know what? Yolanda. Jaws? I was going to wait. What's going on, Janita Tracy? Oh, what is yours, Jaws? Let's still? just go there. I mean, we started with it. It's very interesting. Mine was the actual Jaws. Yeah, Janita Tracy. 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 Janita of being uh, 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 possessed, demons taking over. And the crazy part about it, I just saw parts of the exorcist. I think I might have been peeking in at five or six looking. My mother was watching it on TV. She was watching it scared. So it really straight scared me, terrified a lot of you all out there. We want to hear about these movies. Norm, hope you know, you're still there. What movie terrorized you? I feel like, Put them on I'm, oh, surrounded, I feel like on I'm surrounded by a demon every time I come in here. You're surrounded by demons everywhere you go. Shut up. Generally when listen, you look in the mirror. Mine was The Shining. Really? Now, you weren't even a child when that came I out. Thought, listen, you were like 20 when The Shining came No, out. actually, I was 10, and that's, well, all, it, it, that's all that mattered. The Shining you're scared the backwards-ass shit out of me. Hangers. Not just because Jack was, you know, chasing his family down with an axe, but the music in that movie. They would have a scary movie, a scary scene of Shiny, like he would just like trip and freak out, you know, and, and go off or whatever. And then it would linger on to the next scene where they would just be showing the wife skinny ass Shelly DeVall in the kitchen cooking. But they were still playing that move, that music, that scary ass music. So the shiny was scared. It scared me by the It's my favorite movie today, by the way. Because I have overcome my fear. What was terrifying about I don't believe in sharks walking up the steps. And lines, dude. Excuse me? The, the scariest thing about the shot is Scat Man Barbara. So he's the line. only nigger in the movie, and you're going to sit up there and hey, make fun of him? I won't even address that as such because you sound what? stupid. Sad. What? <laughs> well, no, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot the, the other N word in the movie was the guy that just passed away that was Rocky's manager. It just wasn't good. He was in it. it, was it, a, it that movie was great. And you're the only person. Jack you, you just don't like it because I like it. Jack Nicholson was good in the shot. You didn't like it because I liked it. No, his wife was wooden. The kids were horrible. What the hell with them? They just talking that? about them as humans. I'm talking about the movie. Okay. The plot? Percy said exorcist dummy. We said, we're not talking about great Well, that's movies. because Percy is the exorcist. We're talking about, actually, the exorcist would actually be the priest who cast the devils out. Well, we said what movie traumatized Well, I, I, I manned up. No, I, saw gonna, the, have, I saw the exorcist and went to sleep. <laughs> What's going on, What's Kim? Going on, What's going on, on Strike up pose, better. Mute your phone, Kim, so we can hear you. I mean, mute your... Uh, Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can we hear go. us. What's going on, Kim? What's up, girl? 
Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all fooling. Um, welcome back, Dave. Um, <laughs> I, I so know, right? Movie, You're right. The movie that scared me, I think, the most. Well, I don't really like scary flicks. Today, I don't know why. But scary was the one that. Oh, you're breaking up. What? 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 What, what was it, Kim? Uh, Carrie. Oh, yeah, oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. It's realistic. It's realistic. Yeah. I can't happen right yeah and i could relate you know not really fitting in with the in crowd all the time and then haters you know trotting on you i can relate to that enough to my adulthood like young adulthood i didn't sleep with any limbs hanging off the bed because of that final scene mm -hmm. in the movie yeah that's so now crazy. wait a minute now wait a minute now kim that was crazy. as a as a bodybuilder i hope you don't mind me saying this but you've been on stage just like carrie who has been on yeah, stage right. so do you really? have a but look really? do you have a fear of somebody dumping blood on you while really? you are on the stage really? i mean is this is this you know what? has you this know what? you took it to another level but i said in the beginning that i could relate to carrie i go. didn't ever think that someone was going to pour blood on me right. but you know you see and you, you hear see how i tied that together i am uh, that's why i'm the cardinal i can tie these things together <laughs> Hold on, wait on. i'm taking my vitamins kim i love you that's why you look that's oh Kim, I'm always looking good. Oh my god. Free promos for what, Kim. What Whatever okay, Kim is doing up. in life, we will we'll move, move on, on and promote this. For sure, radio. Did what's you hear going that? On? My the God. Topic is, look at me. What movie traumatized But don't look you at him. Time? Man, just stop. You traumatized me as an adult. You feel extra dude, stop it. Can you shut He's up. Not that Can you make your head spin Everybody backwards? I worked all week. Everybody work. It's good. You still green. It's good. Shut what up. movie traumatized you as a child? We want to hear it. So far, we got Jaws. We got The Exorcist. Some people wait on The Exorcist. We got Carrie. What movie traumatized you as a child? Come on, now. Red, don't be so traumatized red, come on. that y'all can't call in and tell us. And if you don't want to call in and stab ground, text it. Let us know. Before or Oh, and by the way, um, we need y'all to tag and share. Four, oh, four, we need people involved in this. Tag your friends, tag, tag your share. family. You know, right this now. is a family show. Uh, so, it, tag them. We had some time on earlier. Uh, you know, I knew people was going to come with the clowns. Like, they scared of clowns. I like, for real, you know, it was a hell of one. You know, as far as the clown fears, you know. I love clowns. He wasn't scared of me, but I do know a lot of people traumatized from that. I want to know. Oh, Return of the Living Dead. I Brave. I Wait a minute. How old were you, dude? That movie came out in like 85. No, it didn't. He's what? Return of the Living Dead? Return of the Original. No, no, no. He didn't say Night of the Living Dead. He said Return. That's the one he's talking about. Brains. Okay. That's the one with that uh, crazy movie Negro uh, Miguel Nunez. That was funny. He's every, every MF. Every that was, I think, his first movie. He come out. No, this motherfucking zombies. What the fuck? Really? That, that's just, what he you did. Wait. Oh, what, I, what did you I do? couldn't wait. I just, I what? didn't do nothing. It, my phone's got a hundred percent on it. That's that dumb Instagram shit. Uh, oh, there it is. It's yeah, back it's on. Funky. Keep it on. Jesus man. Christ, we got two video. We've yeah, moved I up think now. They can figure that out. We have two videos. What movies terrorize oh. you? What mo zombies were? That's right, Tom. Because they flipped it up. They oh, Reno, staggering. you scared of me? They weren't staggering anymore. The zombies was going. Okay, Katrina had one. Amityville Horror was more. Okay, Gregory. When I look at these as adults, Gregory said, "What's the number?" Somebody good. text the number. 404 Six nine seven. Six nine hey, seven. Hey, how you doing? Seven zero four eight. Morning, Greg. Don't say that. They ain't gonna call. Damn it. you as a child. Mr. Martin. Oh, she's saying, "Hey, six, nine, I thought seven, that was a scary movie." She four, said, four, "Hey, four, Mr. Martin." You did. I, I thought that was a scary movie. Chucky, I hear you. Hey, it pretty Chucky, much is. Jason, you know who? Oh, don't nobody say they were scared of a doll. And don't say you were scared. You all were grown when Jason grew up. Well, well, Portuguese. You still have Banks grown Motel. Up. You know, think about this. There's got to be a film I need somebody. Nightmares. So, wait a minute. You mean tell There's me to that all of y'all watched The Shining about. and y'all just went to bed? Nobody cares about The Shining. But y'all but y'all were scared <laughs> of sharks that live no, in the water and y'all live in the house. This 40 year old flick that was not Y'all were scared of. Being having misery. pig blood poured on misery was, but you weren't scared of the shining. I don't even traumatize. Lying. What's up, Keisha? I bet if y'all watch the shining today, y'all get scared. What? That's not scary. Here's Johnny. Look at that. I just scared the shit out of yourself, of people. Of yourself. You scared me. <laughs> 
I would snap you. I don't want to break your new glasses. You know what? Evil Dead. You're number one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Evil Dead was not. To... See, Please thank you, Yolanda. Too scared to watch, scared to watch it because she There's knew. The... Okay, Texas Chainsaw, I got it. It's okay, Yolanda. You can watch it okay. now. It's not scary at all. Psycho. Well, all right. I mean, why? I want to know why that time, you it was diss my movie. Because it it's whack, man. I could, if I would have said The Exorcist, you would have said The Shining. I would have said, now that I watched Exorcist, I could see that. Yeah, shut up. So I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was an old movie. There's skeletons coming up out the ground, riding horses. Is that that's um Evil Dead? That's a, that's Evil that, Dead, dude. That could be. Uh -oh, that could be. We got Greg. We gonna think over? about that one, Rakia. No. What's up, brother? What's up, Greg? Strike a pole. What's happening? What up, Miami, you brother? What's, What's up, man? <laughs> good to hear your voice, man. <laughs> I got a good one for you. Yes, sir. Phantasm with the little ball playing from there with the little Phantasm. That's what's up. That yeah. hey, now that that was a good one Phantasm because that yeah. big that big lurch looking yeah. dude that was in the movie man Bomber. he was he was he was he looked a lot like this jagaloon right here. Bomber. But I mean no that movie was scary man. Children in the corn. Because you think about it, Malachi. they were the first ones to come out with a technological Malachi. killing device, and that was that ball like you said with the thing that come out and drill you in the head. Kim, you can tell him. And blood. And, <laughs> hey, listen, Kim, Greg. Up. If you have one of those, can you please oh, send the them purge. to it? Because I'd love to use it the on purge. this bastard right here. Candyman, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, we got all types of devices down here in the city. Dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna, hey, we gonna talk about the D in a minute, man. And that farming y'all got going down. Man, good to hear from you, Greg, for real, man. Hey, man. Real, yes, sir. On the 18th, y'all gonna roll down here. What's going on, man? Tell us. That 25th anniversary thing, if they still gonna do it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I'll I shoot yeah. you a text about yeah, that, man. I'll, I'll let you know what's up on what's that. Up? We moved to this. Yeah, hey. Hey, man. For sure, man. Yes, Appreciate sir. It. Good looking it. out, man. Appreciate it. Is that it? Shelly said, it ones? takes scary movies to make the Cardinal smile. It does. Shelly, I Sad. smile Reed every said, week. That's what the only is. reason why I can't smile oh, all the time no. is. When you sit next to this guy, that's right, it's very hard to smile. It's very hard to move forward. He takes your spirit silly. away, just <laughs> like so the exorcist. Good. Right. What up, cousin? Hey, we ain't going to go know what you hear from Greg. Greg Cross, my cousin, my dude. You know what, man? What, shut up. I'm what gonna, movie traumatized you? I'm about to say something good. As a youngster. I'm what I'm proud movie traumatized of you? What gave you nightmares? What scared you? We got three calls. Yep. And like, Five minutes. Yes. Yeah. And Please that is. Up, Mike? I thank myself for Mike? returning. Because y'all feel like calling Can now. Because y'all feel that. Because y'all ain't want to be bothered with this yeah, bastard. No. I, I know this right here. I know all the shares. Steph Penn Came said she was scared of the purge as an adult. Because it was Steph, That's real. You just Tell lost your woman card for what? that. You got to earn it back. It's a good movie. That, it's a very good movie, but it was Her not scary. Call, no, you don't get it, scared of that. You, Call you, in, Steph, and tell us why The Purge no, scared you the point. It's as not an adult. It's the scariest movie. It's what movie traumatized you. As a kid. And the as thought, a child. The thought of The Purge, especially with the orange oh, president. The thought of things stop. going down. With just the going on, thing. That's, a, that's a horrifying thought. That can happen, bro. You are a horrifying thought. It can thought. happen. Uh, it, it can. Tell you what. In order just to keep them moving. Well, I hope they get you because first. Because really kind of. If they, if they ever have a purge, okay. oh, I'm coming to get your monkey ass. Tell you what, tell you what keep going. No, that's the truth. Yeah, keep going. If they have a if they, well, you ain't supposed to be drinking tonight. I thought we was that was, Drunk talk. Friday was on last week. It's not alcohol. Well, pour me a glass. You got some? No, no. Shit, I need a drink. Are you ready to move forward? I'm ready to move backwards. You happen to be back. I, I should have. I, I want to go back to last beginning. week. And so I can Take be care, here. Shelly. I said this in the beginning. He's very happy. Peace to be out, Shelly. He wants to say something. I'm gonna lay back and let him just say whatever because well, he's mean, been missing. Well, what are you talking about? Well, because I mean, listen. Wait, talking, wait, talking wait, talking wait, you reckless. talking about The Shining and all reckless, of that? Man. Okay, listen. Do you have another movie? I had two. My second yeah. one was Dawn of the Dead. Really? Because that was the first zombie that movie that I was traumatized the shit out of me. Wow. I never saw a zombie movie before. Okay. Ever. Yeah. So when that shit, even though really? Night of the Living Dead came out 10 years before that, that shit came out the year I was born. I, I didn't watch that till what after was, Dawn of the Dead. traumatic about that? Because these are motherfuckers who died and they're coming back. Now you can't stop that. Where did you live? 
Nigga, I lived on the east side. You, you, see, a whole, Ralph you Bunch. see a whole lot of zombies wandering Ralph Bunch. Yeah, but I mean, the they were zombies living. That's my point. They didn't, when they died, they stay in the ground. Okay. I mean, these people died so and they know. came back. <laughs> and it's the first movie in which they actually show somebody's really guts sad. getting torn out. The show radio, where is that? Hey, uh, yeah, the purge. Um, I, said, I didn't see scary movies when I was a kid, so I mm. nothing really scared me like that. But as an adult, the purge scared me because I can actually see that junk happening for real. For real, and I'm that's terrifying. I, I hear, I hear it in your voice. Your voice is cracking. That movie, it, that movie messed you around. <laughs> you know they made two of them. You know they made, I mean, a part two and a part three. I know, but I, the part one just yeah. was enough for me. Mm -hmm. um, I, n I never really liked Jason or Freddy movies either. Mm -hmm. And um, what was that? I think what was that movie, Darkness Falls? Yeah, Darkness Falls. I remember that. That wasn't yeah. bad. That yeah. wasn't bad. I saw that. I saw that as an adult in my cousin's living room by myself, where everybody went out to the club. Well, now, why would you? Why would scared. you? Why would you put yourself through that? Why would you do that? Like, I don't know, cause I'm crazy. But yeah, that's, that's all right. I have to say. But, yeah, but you gotta. Okay, listen. After the show, watch The Shining. Have no, you seen no. The Shining? Um, yes, hell no, I ain't watching that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch this. Why? You might but see, but look, but, but see, no, listen. I live, I live alone. I don't okay, but you watch Darkness Falls. The Shining is. Just no, about no, a no. guy that kills his family. No, 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 no. Oh, He's He's a a I'm scared. Some in, my 20s. in my thirties, I'm I'm scared because mm. I know stuff is real out here. I'm not watching that. No. Well, it's about ghosts, and well, I, listen, Steph, I'm gonna give, we're gonna get back with you on that. I'm I'm about to talk about you and make fun of you a little bit more about the purge. Is that fine? <laughs> I love you, Steph. <laughs> Take care, Steph. Arnie Chambers is here with his whack. Sports takes. Hey, Arnie alone, man. That's my dude, man. He, oh, he's, he's the, he's the marathon best. man. Hey, and speaking of, that's I'm another scary I'm movie. How are you? Marathon man. Really? You ever see that yes. when you was a kid? Yes. That didn't scare you? No. Going to the den, well, you got rotten teeth. It should sleep. scare you. I went to sleep. You won't go to sleep on every damn thing. Garbo, but you but you stayed awake on the exorcist. Garbo. I'm glad the exorcist. I wish I could put that shit on right now and just watch you piss on yourself. Then again, you pissing on yourself. You don't need a movie for that. All you do is just wake up. That's all I do. Is you still wear it depends. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sixty-three years old, but talking about somebody else. See, boy, I look good for six. God, <laughs> Jesus, look at him. Oh my God. Speaking of Jesus, you hear right. Sammy Sosa called himself Jesus. We're about to move on, and we're not talking about that. <laughs> he's white, almost as white as the Jesus that they said. talk about. That's not what he said, well, he's compared okay. himself to. Next him. one, we go. We we touched on this for a minute. We'll go back to it. Boys walking, some may be familiar, some not. Had some comments on Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine's seventy million dollar gift to USC. He was saying Dr. Dre would be better served giving this money to a black college. Dr. Dre didn't go to a black college, and although I understand the sentiment, I don't think he's obligated to spend his money anywhere he wants to go. Yolanda, I that was the shining. <clears throat> it was rum, the shining. Interesting that Dillard's president, and I'm not trying to pick on Dillard, but it's interesting to me that Dillard's it's president elephant, man. really wanted to. Uh, <laughs> Wanted to, uh, I am yeah, that guy John died, sorry, Merrick. Elephant Man. We really want to kind of single out Dre for his gift. And I'm going to say it again. I, I said a little earlier. My mother I am not came through man. 12. Okay, you, you, you done? No, nah, go, go ahead, man. Came through 12, all A's, all the way through. Had her heart set up on a general university in New Orleans. From Eastern Michigan, tiny town right outside Detroit. Ready to roll. All A's. The prize gets accepted. Get ready to go. Did they say, hey, will you send your picture in? Cue ball. Says her picture in. They tell her, no, you are not light enough to go to our HBCU wow. that Dr. Dre should get $35 million to. So wow. to that, I say to hell with that. Get your money where you want to go. I believe this, and I'm not picking on folks who went to HBCUs. Both my sisters did love them. I'm, I'm about to, though. every HBCU graduate I'm about gave their school $10, they would not be in financial trouble. Oh. Support your own schools. I don't even support <laughs> a little bit, you know. If you support a what up, Q? What up, Ed? Be in trouble. So why is it on? When I forget, hit it again. Why is it on Let someone else fix to have to give some money to keep a school alive when the school produces so many alums that do so much help keep that school going? And that's not a shot at black college alums. That's just a shot at the president saying what an entertainer should do with his money when that school has done nothing to support that entertainer. In fact, causes music misogynistic, dogs it, debase it. So. 
What y'all think about the Dre situation? But if he if he would have gave him, if he would have gave him thirty five million, he wouldn't have said a goddamn said thing, nothing. and he would have been bumping Dre at the, the press conference. About Dre, I don't know. Percy keeps saying this is a half fam go there for decades. Percy, I understand that. Percy also know that you know this is an African American thing. I'm talking about right now, man. I'm not talking about. The others do what the dealer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, you know. You let, let's Before let's it. let's just let's just. Alarm should get back. Let's just cut to the chase. Hold on, Katrina said his problems him supporting school is not. Man, you guys, John Singleton went to USC. It's plenty of African Americans. Well, Dre to didn't go to no college, it's so I mean, yeah, he can give his money where he know. wants. Here, here, here's my Agreed. take. <laughs> First, yeah, These HBCUs, <laughs> Percy, your, your people pass the paper bag test. They're right? white schools. Person, okay, hey there, test, I man. said it. HBCUs are white schools. What are you talking about? Just like USC, just know, like man. Eastern, and uh, well, who owns them? Owns them. Yeah, who who created who them and who owns them? White you people. Have, you have some state schools. You have some private. Okay. Schools. Founded by school. white people. Board of trustees, anyway. But they're not black colleges. So the thought well, of Dr. Dre or anybody else having to give colleges. to them. I'm not knocking black colleges. Well, I am. I'm not, why? I'm going to knock them because they're sitting up here bitching and complaining not because honest. they the didn't get the damn money. Something All the rest of them did it too. The they just ain't talking about it. No. They're thinking it. I guarantee to you, they sitting up behind Dillard saying, yeah, he read it, the motherfucker did See, listen, here's the bottom line. First of all, Dr. Um, Dre made that money, okay? He's a fucking doctor. He can give it to whoever the fuck, he can give it to whoever, give okay. it to the man in the moon bum in the street. The bottom line is, I get sick and tired well, of hearing all of this love for HBCUs mm -hmm. when they're white schools. They're just historically for blacks. USC is in this neighborhood. It's no different. Day. There's plenty of hood. That's true. Anybody who knows anything about USC knows it sits smack dab in South Central. But the crazy yeah, part and that's why is, they used to call it University of South Central. Now, Dre and them used to call yeah, it on but, but the thing about it is USC is a private school that is not known for being welcoming to anybody but the white upper crust. UCLA, which so? is open to everybody, sits in Westwood, which is affluent. It's kind of weird. That dichotomy. And I wonder you know, how many but it is what it other is. black schools did what Dillard did to your mother. Howard, Howard hit a I bunch mean, of them. Paul hit right on there. Howard ain't no white school. I totally agree. But I'm mad about I want to be Trump supporters. Who owns Howard? Uh, I remember when Lee Atwater was on the, the board of trustees at Howard. Man, I was Who like created Howard? Bush black people create Howard? Did they, did they create? create? No. Okay. But the board of trustees. Who, who created it? A lot of black schools were created to educate recently freed Negroes. And to train them in the vocation. By who? Well, dude, that's ridiculous. That's no, it's not want. ridiculous. Yes, it's it my is. it's my point. I'm not saying they weren't created to give black people well, a chance and, and all that. Okay, but we get don't act like you don't understand it. No, no, I do understand it. I, I do respect We it. get the thought in our well, head that these are black th them. That these well, are black the colleges for black people, by black people, and created by black people. So why in the West Wing fuck should Dr. Dr. Dre what give up, Howard anything more than what he up, should give USC what or Eastern like, Michigan he, anything? He wants to. It doesn't matter. He can give it like you say. He can give he it to really whoever the hell he wants. Him. But I'm going to say this. I do think black college graduates should support their schools. It is a white school. I do Paula. think Paula, that. call in and tell I us why think. Howard is not a no, white school. I know that. I agree with Paula. 404 697 704. Why should Dr. Dr. Dre Ryan give to Dillard did, and Howard and Langston and uh, Hampton and all the other black Jason schools? Jason just did something very important. Jason Woods just shared this. Thank video. you, J Thank Jay Wood in the tell house. Tell everyone on here to go to the Your Lord Masonic right here brother. Corner. And hit share. Can y'all please share hit this share. video? I hit know y'all can't stand to look at him. I can't either. Us. This is But we in this thing together. This is, I'm not even with him. I, share I, 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 I the video. Shit. Damn share it. That video. Share that video. And hit the little emojis at share the bottom. The when you see me, hit love. Jason hit it right When the mad faces saying. come up, then we know what Number that's all one about. Problem, HBCU students don't get it right as a whole. As a whole, and I say every single one, but as a whole. <laughs> there they go. There's the hatred. Thank you. Good no, looking out, Train. That's our producer. Train. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's something when the producer can't stand your ass. No, I totally understand. No, but I mean, listen, Dr. Dre can give his money to whoever he wants to. I just, no, but I'm just, I'm saying they don't believe me. Yeah, people do believe They me. seem to think, thank, thank you, you Keisha, Keisha, Keisha and, and you. two others. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Okay. USC costs about 80K as a private school. They recently created a virtual academic center and ties more students 
Okay. All right. Where the hook button now? For real, Jason. You all right with me. Man. Jay Wood, what you, you coming right with? with? You know what I'm saying? Oh, happy birthday, Negro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happy his birthday. birthday. Bro, that's right. I, I missed him that too. But I mean, man. Right. Joe. Okay. What's up, Joe? What? Oh, and by the way, having watched this last Going week. Twice. When people make comments, Yo. there's like a 10-second delay. delay or yeah. something. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you knew. So if we answer, well, they don't later. know. So if we answer y'all go slightly go later, we we're just now seeing the comments. We don't see it. That's like right. this shit you hear me saying, it's 10 seconds, 15 seconds later. AT, what up, Tizzle? What up, Tizzle? What up, Joe? Got right. Joel in the next house. One. Next one. Because, you know, we got a lot tonight, Freestyle Yeah, we got it. It's Freestyle Friday, um, man. We got to keep it moving. We done hit one movie traumatized. We done hit Dre's gift. But y'all see the number, man. Keep calling. How many of you saw, and I post on the page. You want to read what I already say right before you go to that? Okay. I already said something. I know, Arnie. Uh, mm -hmm. Arnie, no, 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 say this. Arnie, That's Alabama, right. and him. He says he, he say? ought to give a... Okay, something million to a black school. Every black woman he beat, whooped on, or disrespected through his life. Well, then he'd be broke. Okay, how many? But then of us, he'd be broke. How many of us wouldn't be broke? Keep then, it real. Then he'd be broke. Keep it real on disrespect. And how many of us wouldn't be broke? Well, I mean, I, I'm talking about yeah, the violence. I'm not talking about because I mean, wait, wait. men and women have disrespected each other. But if we don't yeah. talk about just the violence, first of all, D Barnes ought to have almost half Why? his money. Why? Oh, come on, you know what Why? he did to that woman, man. Whatever. Oh, come. What? She shouldn't have anything. Jesus Christ, it's man! He mouthpiece to walk. a whole lot of stuff with that D Bar story. Well, man. what? She didn't whoop his ass. I'm just saying, man. She she should be set for life. That's all I'm Why? saying. Why? Because he whooped her ass. So she kind of set him up too. I understand that she set him up with the video, and I get all that. But she are you are too. you saying that that was reason for him to to do what he did? I'm saying there's reason for anybody to do anything. Oh my God! Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You I expect this it. from the Cardinal? He is advocating violence upon women. He I'm just did. It. I'm advocating. He just did it. Man, woman, boy, girl, child, or beast. senior. There can be a reason for anything. Oh do I advocate God. domestic violence or beating women? No. You just did it. No. I said there could be a reason for anything. When you said she should be set for life because she took an ass whooping from a dude she did kind of set up and put in a situation. Do I think Dre got a problem with women? Probably so. <laughs> Man, it could be a very bad statement. I'm going to say what I feel. This is a platform, and I think a lot of us would be better off if we did that. I work in a school. I work with young people a long Lord, time. Lord have mercy. Hold on a second. We're going to go here. We're side note. I've seen Freestyle women, Friday got down. I've seen young women do all kind of stuff to young black boys, spit on them, hit them, yoke them all in the face. That's a whole lot to say. I'm just not going to ever do nothing. Well, wait I'm a minute. We're not talking about self-defense. Well, hold on. What did D. Barnes do to him physically? I'm, I'm not talking about that. Yes, you are. I'm strictly reacting to what you said when you said, she should be set for life. I'm not saying well, she had no case. I'm not saying she shouldn't have settled. I'm just saying she played him out. He got pissed. Should he just jumped on her and beat her down? I, I wouldn't do that. I don't advocate that, but I wasn't there. You, 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 but I'm not going to pretend that every single thing everybody uh -huh. does. Arnie is disappointed. I don't care with about you. people trying to be self righteous. You be what you're going to be. Arnie is angry with you. Don't care. Love Arnie. <laughs> we going to agree to disagree. I just think it's real easy to judge people when you're not there. I think when you're. Well, we were there. We saw it. No, you didn't. We did. You saw it, and I saw it. We no, all you, saw the video. Wait, dude, stop it. We saw what he did. He admitted it. I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking you're to you. number one. I mean, I he admitted it. Man, whatever. But for everybody who says there's no reason to do anything, I, 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 say, I there's listen, a reason to do everything. That not no on the, on an equal playing field is what I'm saying. No, of course I'm not. I'm not saying you're talking about mushing in the face and getting spit on and all not. that. That's of, of self defense. Of course not. I'm not talking about that. I produced this segment. We should move on. You know what I'm saying? Dre is an abuser. Period. So his money should go to a domestic violence program. Well, I I, mean, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, his money should go. We want his money to go. I don't get how because somebody does something, they got the I'm not gonna. To I'm not going to say that. I, just, I, just don't, I think his money I don't, should go to who, who he abused. That's all I'm but saying. But it did. Square him off. It did. Okay, well, then that's fine. We're saying the same thing. The Cardinal's not the voice of reason. Man. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> He's not For the voice God's of reason. For God's sake. Thank and you, I'm, Arnie. I'm not Arnie, advocating this. I agree with I'm every post saying, you've ever made. I'm just saying. Except I say, a lot of people get put in the situations where... This is just their reaction. And should they pay for the rest of their life? I don't think so. 
I think real habitual abusers, real habitual criminals should be dealt with. But I don't think every situation is the same situation. It is nuanced, man. It just I is. didn't say it was the same and situation. Like that I said to, equal playing field. If something like that happens to your son or your daughter, you're going to think different. If so, you know, it's, it's real easy just to say, oh, this is this and that. No. You saying if D. Barnes was your daughter or I'm Drake? saying for every woman out there with a son, your son is put in a vulnerable situation. Anytime he even gets in a disagreement with a young woman nowadays. Because the whole lot feel very, very empowered. I'm saying the education should go on on both sides. And I'm saying I agree with that. Because the last seven years, I've been in 70 plus Metro Atlanta high schools. And I'm seeing this thing pop up over and over and over. And Stephen A. Smith... Had the courage to speak up and say, hey, is this education going oh, on the women's side? Him. But then he took it back as soon as he got threatened. Yeah, that's why I said, don't and I'm saying, talk about him. There needs to be education going on the boat. Well, Jameis Winston, he There's said something this week. Oh, I mean, whatever. Jameis Winston went into schools and, and said, said that the little boy should be strong and, and that the, the little silent. girl should be silent. That's an ancient way of thinking. I'm not talking about well, that. <laughs> I mean, that's I'm what you said. They should go back and educate them in the school. I'm strictly talking about I mean, that's just Jameis. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, Famous Jameis. I'm sorry, I got away. He I'm said that the little hand. girl should be quiet okay, we, we got and be docile. We're going to get back to And learn topic. to cook. I'm sorry. Well, he didn't say the cook you know, thing. But I mean, bottom he line, might as well have said it. To me, Drake can put his money wherever he wants. He might as well go to that now since we just talking about it. Okay. Cardinal has a topic. I'm going to make that call. <laughs> go ahead, dude. What well, about say? I mean, this week, since we're sitting up talking about, you know, well, Keisha, I, um, you I know women who were reason. not done right. Really? In the WNBA. Oh, really? That's what, That's what well, like, you see how I said, whoo hoo. I am the sh I am the king of Segway. I ought to call me Cardinal Segway. Look at your belt. You stink. Okay, the bottom line is this. The W <laughs> you you making me laugh. The, <laughs> Dude, the WNBA's Candace Wiggins this week. She said that Who, is she oh, is she important number one? She, I'm asking you, is she is she a good player? She can get it. One thing about, yeah, she can get did you hear what he just said? What? what? I asked was she a player, and he said she can get it. Well, a big problem with the well, WNBA, a big problem in the beginning. I didn't even tell him what day, she did. They I'm, don't I'm, They don't know. I'm just giving them this. So well, you know tell them. You from. break it down. Now, I don't know about that, but this is what WNBA was problematic for me because I'm a basketball fan. I love basketball. They didn't, they didn't really push their best players. They push what they consider their most attractive players. So WNBA was filled with a lot of great players. I don't have a problem that with that. They didn't feel were. Uh, I don't give a enough. fuck about a the lot WNBA. Of us of their let's lifestyle. Let's... I'm, I'm gonna say anybody else. I'm just saying. Okay, go ahead. Their lifestyle, whatever else, their choices they made, their hairstyles, whatever. They didn't really pushed them. Although these players were dominating the league, they pushed the players who they thought looked great. Lisa Leslie, Rebecca Lobo, Lisa Leslie. Candace Parker can play and she's considered attractive, but Candace Parker time, is dope. That was a problem <laughs> in the WNBA. So go ahead now, leading with Candace. Well, Parker. I agree with you, and that's how they should have pushed the WNBA. Because if you push the WNBA <laughs> yeah, based on athletic, if you if you that. push it based on athletic prowess with all the missed layups and dribbling off your well, foot and everything right. else, nobody's going to watch well, it. So and nobody wrong. watches it now, by the way. But that's because they're pushing the wrong people. Well, I mean, look. <laughs> they put, no, they're not. Listen, listen. Okay. Here's the, here's the, the cash bottom cash line. One of those NBA, WNBA players that was pushed was, uh, thank you, producer, with that hatred. That was for you. Well, I do this for all of them for, uh, for you. <laughs> Candace Wiggins said that 98% of the WNBA is gay, and she felt harassed her entire time in the WNBA. Did she she felt like, she, well, she said she felt like she Thank was bullied. You, prowess. She felt, well, that's what I said. She felt like she was bullied. She felt like because she was a I mean, straight they woman. Y'all are talking about watching it. The fuck that nobody cares about Man, the I'm, WNBA. I'm not, women don't care about know. the WNBA. To hell with the WNBA. Yeah, as an organization. Not, the WNBA don't care about the WNBA. To hell with the WNBA as an organization. I could care less. That that's like not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the gay community themselves. What? What? Okay, I just love how when somebody calls y'all out, now y'all want to do the same goddamn thing to uh, to people who call y'all out and say this woman wasn't bullied. Now all of the gays are, are jumping all over her and bullying her and pushing that? her around. They are proving her exactly. point. And nobody is taking Candace Wiggins' side. Nobody. 
or the talking heads, or we don't know anything about what she's talking about. That's it's unfair. True. She can't you say 98% or whatever. It's a bunch of Angie, garbage. Wait on this. Angie, wait okay? On this See, the bottom line is, Angie, and if you're a lesbian oh, yeah. out there, please call the show and, and tell us if... Why are you well, lesbian she said, lesbian to weigh in on Well, that. I mean, you can be whatever. Okay. You're a lesbian. Why are you singing with people out? I mean, listen. You think I love women? Yes, I know women. <laughs> that was an easy one, dude. Well, I, that's why I said it. I mean, the, the bottom line is this, man. I think that the gay community within the WNBA is full of shit. Really? Why? And the reason why, because they are proving the, her point that she's being bullied. Because the men, and to show you their power. See, if you don't go along to this get along with them. Then they try to fuck you over in the media. Oh. They talk bad about because you should see all the people on you know ESPN and Fox can you name, and can, CBS can Sports. Any, hold on one second. What? Anyone out there name three current WNBA players? I, they, no. Hold on, hold on. This is my to point. hell with the WNBA. But this is my point. How is she really being bullied? She's being bullied with. What do you mean? How is she being bullied? Because what you said is they because messing she. Up, you're saying they messing her up media wise. She. If they have no clout, well, we don't know who no, they no. are. How are they messing her up? Are, well, they, are they hurting her listen, endorsements? Because what are they doing? They should be being you're, you're, you're looking at. You can't compare her endorsements do you to know, NBA players. Do you, realize, you can't compare the two. Do you realize she in had, her world? Hold on, one second. Hold on, hold she's on. being bullied. But do you realize she has been known for her kind of whack personality? I don't give a damn fuck her personality. Maybe, You're maybe, weird. I mean, shit, people seem to like you. Maybe they don't like her. Maybe, maybe they don't like her because she's straight. And maybe she, and because... So there's no other straight players in WNBA. No, well, according to her, it's 2%. And I mean, what? listen. Listen, it's probably... Most of them are accurate. probably gay, like she it. said. And but I but, but my my whole point in all of this is I have sat up and I've watched the you haven't done your homework. I've watched the interviews. Okay. I've watched the how interview. nobody is taking Candace Wiggins side Maybe in this. there's a reason at for that. Oh, nobody? Maybe, maybe because she's an ass, man. Hey, I, I, listen, her. Okay, her I don't know. Her I'm personality has nothing to do yes, with it this. Does. No, it doesn't. Are you telling me that she's going around and bullying everybody in the whole league? She's being bullied because she said so. Well, she said she's you being bullied. You believe he was a Okay, well, let's say this. Sosa said so? <laughs> They're remaking that. We got to talk yeah, about we, that, too. No, we're not going to talk about oh, that. Oh, come she's on. That's a good movie. That. That's, listen. Listen. That's right. Our producer just said it, and I'm gonna. She should call in. You oh, I can't just her phone. She can't. But I mean, no. Look, the bottom line is okay. Suppose that the majority. Okay, well let's 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 flip back and go to the NBA. Who was the gay player to come out? Collins, right? Jason Collins. He was done. Okay. Well, okay. So what? It doesn't matter. Why is it that none will come out? Then you know it's some fruitcakes in the W in, in the NBA, right? None will come out Why because they fruitcake, know dude? that they will be ostracized and they will be beat down and they will be Not talked anymore. about by their peers. Oh, yes, they would. It will be bullied. Not anymore. Don't think, oh, yes, they will. Not in the anymore. locker rooms and all that. I hate to tell you. Not anymore. They will be protected by Not the anymore. media and by the, the, the gays who are running things from the outside. But within their own community, if that is. Okay, then how come they won't come out? Because it's a done deal now. I mean, if you if it's a done deal, how come they ain't if coming you out? you said this even 15 years ago, I would agree. How come we don't see more gay WNBA play, uh, the, NBA uh, players uh, coming uh, out? WNBA players, uh. NBA players coming out. Well, because they are. Listen. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna say this. All y'all saying that I don't know who you're referring to. People have said Richard Jefferson was gay for I'm years. I'm not talking about anyone. That was just a general statement. I'm saying I think that people do whatever to their advantage. If what? it's an advantage for you to come out, you are gonna come out. If you think it's a disadvantage for you to come out, you're not going to come out. Well, the, Just like that football player that kissed his boyfriend when he got drafted oh, or whatever. Come on. He yeah. saw Thank that. God, he's out of the something that could work for him. Jesus Is Christ. Some more? Michael fucking Sam. Okay, that shit made so my I, I goddamn stomach sick. they're going to do it to their advantage. That's all. I don't well, think that's a stigma. You know, I don't think that's a stigma. I, guess, I disagree I'm with that. I'm looking like this. You know better than when that. I was in high school, when I was in high school, you were not out in the high school. Of course not. I mean, back in the... There you go, Tracy. I agree with Ver. Grenier, I agree. But that's like one. She beat up her girlfriend, whatever. Oh, in high school Brit now... Yeah, Brittany got Griner and had no choice. It. In she high schools now... Brittany Griner looks hideous. It, it's a whole different story. So I think if you're young playing now, you like 23, you're, you're 24... Missing, hold you're on. missing my point. If you're 23, 24, average age of NBA athlete right now, you done came up with people who were out 
junior high, high school, college, NBA. You didn't grow up closeted. And they go keep, keep, they they go, like and they go keep it in the closet. There's a different consciousness with Frank young Ocean, people. Ocean, the, the entertainment industry it's is a, full of games. Okay, whatever. I'm just telling you. People don't look at it the same way they did before. Listen. They listen, just don't, man. Listen. I don't even listen. The point that I'm trying to make is they just don't. if a gay person that's, in the NBA came out, don't matter now. they would be ostracized. No, they won't. But with no, the same won't. thing happening in the WNBA, you got people see, the bottom line is now. you got gays doing to people what was done to them. Some people. And now they bullying. Some people. Yeah. Now they bullying because they are in control. You just said that they're in control of different fa- facets because, of things. No, no, I didn't say that. Oh, you might as well have said no, it. I don't say that. I'm going to say that. And you would be right to say people it. People are people regardless of their sexuality. If you're a bully, you're a bully anyway. No it's, matter what you are. Nobody's talking about that. But, well, you just said it. No, no, no. no. If I, you're going to bully people, you're going to bully them regardless. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole, whether you're gay or straight. You're an asshole. If you're a great person, you're a great person. And why are you it using that zero, language, It by has the way. zero to do with that, language. man. I just, you know, I'm no, you're 20 wrong. years ago, I agree. Now, no, you it's ask now. Your, ask your average high school student, they're not thinking Forget about them. I'm talking about on the professional level when they're on TV. The professional level, they're about four years removed from high school. Then how come, Maybe. Then, then how come then you don't Maybe. see them coming out? You don't know what name, you're going to Name me one NBA player who is playing right now who has come out. Check it out. Name Ryan me one. Said a good point. All the leagues had questionable folk. Remember Johnny Morton? Exactly. And what did what did Matt well, Miller? I mean, what did Matt Miller call Now, Tracy, for? that's that's making that's an burn, assumption man. about that's burn using Tracy. That's, oh, he said that. Yeah, he said that. Vern, where's your Facebook? What the hell's <laughs> wrong with you long, using man. somebody else's? It's a different day, and you're showing your sixty <laughs> years on this earth. No, I and mean, you're no, your that's whatever years. See, he just but see, it's a different day. We don't know if Johnny Morton was gay or not. I mean, wasn't he kicking it with us? If he had been the chick on TV, if he could have made money from coming out. He didn't make money from coming out. If he but, was gay, okay. athletes do stuff based on money, man. But but we're talking about assumptions. If people will pretend they gay you to try t- to get money. Name me a professional player who is playing. I don't have to. Male. I don't have who to. is gay. Okay, t- and who's name, still playing. Name and who is a, coming out. Name me a professional male player who will criticize gay folks now. The NBA moved their all-star game over the gay, transgender issue. You are not going exactly. to come out exactly. just now. There you go. Days. Showing that power. Get, Thank you. No, it's not about gay. It's about money. The hell? Because, right, who got That's the money? If you got the money, no. you got the power. No, it's about Gays money. are in position Stop of powers. It. And they like, oh, we do unto <coughs> others as they have done the fuck unto us. Y'all dogged us. So now it's the motherfucker, the big payback. Okay. And that's what that shit is. Okay. What I don't think James Brown was gay, though. Okay, dude. I mean, I don't agree. You can take what you want with it. Shake up with the Lake Show. Shake up with the Lake Show. Speaking now, of, I know. I'm gonna always love the Pistons. He, he has it's HIV. Home. I'm gonna always love the Pistons because it's home. But my franchise ride or die after the Pistons is the LA Lakers. We've had a downturn since the greatest ever hung up his sneakers last year. But greatest ever, I do mean Kobe, the Bean, Bryant. <laughs> Vern, you are funny. By your head. <laughs> but. Oh, please. Did you just do Tuesday, that? Magic Johnson and Genie Bus organized a coup. Organized mm-hmm. a coup in the Magic Show. Irvin Johnson and Genie Bus have taken over the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah. How soon will we see a return to Providence? A year? Two. I'm thinking next year Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis will be with the Lakers. I'm saying a whole <laughs> turnaround with this organization. Why? Because Magic's there? And since I can't count on Stan Van Gundy to do nothing for the Pistons. Yeah, he won't. He won't. I'm going to have to get back on that Laker train. I've always been on it. Connie, Band you out there, I, know, I know you there. Ben Scott, yes, Kobe is infinitely What up, Ben? Jordan, infinitely. And as a Detroit Don't get fan, him started on Kobe. I give no one Old school Pistons fan ever say nothing good about the tongue wagon twenty three UNC Chicago Bulls. You talk about man crushes Bulls. and we just talked My about is the greatest player homo NBA stuff history. a minute ago. I, he has a thing. For any Kobe comments Bryant on the Lake Show that is unnatural. Any comments on the Lake Show and they talk about bringing Kobe back into the flock to coast each other players. 
Oh my God. So you want to just bring people back by name. Magic has absolutely oh, no experience oh, in what he's doing. But you want to bring him back just because he's how magic. Have more projects like the You Can Play project that make sports more acceptable and tolerant of Gaelic. I agree, Elijah. It's a different world. My boy said Curry was better than. That's, how old is your boy? The first thing I would ask. If he's under 13, I can forgive him for that. Producer, y'all have any beer better. or liquor that I can no. drink? No. Yeah, no. Uh, go ahead. Some I'm sorry. alcohol. Go ahead. I'll I cut you off. Late you always cut me off. He's all he does me no, wrong all the time. Oh no. I want a drink. No. Listen, y'all, the bottom line. Oh, share this show. Ben, share this show. You yeah. Like share this Everybody show. share, share the this show. show. Some of y'all have been doing shit. that and we appreciate it. You know, tag people. Tune them in. My point is this. I don't have a problem no, no, saying that, that I don't think money. that magic is going to do a bad job or a good job. We don't know. We know he's a successful businessman. We know that. But can it translate into him oh, Rob Plinka, being out a successful no owner or runner of basketball association or Damn, that you know, back operation? The famous NBA columnist tried to just dog Magic Johnson. Call him a failure as a talk show, failure as a coach, failure as a GM, and he's going to fail here. That's some bull. Because he didn't talk about Magic's successes with the Starbucks. Right. With the, the movie theaters. I agree with that. With the nationwide stuff as far as health. Now, I do consider him, I love Magic Johnson, a traitor for what he did to Isaiah, but, you know, that's tween them. Thanks a lot, Yolanda, that's for sharing. Thank you, and y'all. the rest of y'all that share. It says Yolanda and four others, so we don't know who the others are, but thank you, others. You know, look, the bottom line is this. We don't Traders know what thank Magic is going to do, but I do. if you win. think for one minute that people are going to flock to the Lakers because of the Laker lore that's already and happened. because of Magic, that's already Anthony happened. Davis doesn't know a damn thing. He wasn't even born when Magic played. Anthony Davis understands. And neither right. was Russell Westbrook. Let me explain something. They're not going anywhere the unless Pelicans, the bottom line is the, the Pelicans, bottom line. The Pelicans grab, Money. The Pelicans grab Boogie. Because they know Anthony Davis is gone. Nobody stays in New York. It's not a big enough market. Listen. He's going to triple his worth in L.A. It's two places you want to go. You want to make money, money. One's L.A., one's New York. Well, Paul George says he wants to you go to L.A. You can't do that. Go to Chicago. But these guys want to make money. They got to go to a big city. Well, you just said it, money. But they're not well, going they, for magic. No, they're going for the Lakers. They, the, well, well, okay. The late, the late yeah, Lakers. The Lakers must be a quiet. You know, squirt. maybe a little bit. But I'm sorry. I don't believe that they're going to go there and because Magic is the owner of basketball operations the that not, all of a sudden, Magic, and you, yes, yes, yes but franchise. that's what you just said. The and then you just said sports. that, well, Kobe's and coming back to coach. Who, who the, who the, you just said he's no, going to come no, back and coach Kobe, the young no, players. Ment- that's what you said. Mentor, not Actually, coach, mentor. Oh, God. What is he going to do? Teach him how to go to Denver and, and violate white women? Really? That's the way he did. Really? He did it. Really? He Did he do it? You went to Doraville and violated a child. I did not go to so, Doraville and violate anybody. <laughs> you, went, you went to Doraville and violated all of, a child. All of mine have been 18 nothing, and older. Whatever. Thank you. Whatever. So, <laughs> don't talk about the you. Don't talk about the bank. See, he makes things up. And say, see what I mean when you talk about Kobe? It's, unna- All it's, y'all it's unnatural. You how to make that up, blah, blah, blah. It is unnatural. The notorious hugger. Well, hey, everybody. The cop of hey, everybody at Eastern was of age, and you got to hug back to get hugged. Yeah. Strike a pose, yeah. All right. bitch. Hey, organic farming, urban farming, restoring our communities, restoring Rakia! our communities. That's where we What's up, Rakia? How do we do that in Detroit? They've got a two, what, three acre plot. In the middle of the city, that's completely self-sustaining. It's feeding 2,000 people within two miles of there with fresh produce every day. Organic. That is hell of a... That is. Farming. Something a lot of us should turn to. There's a whole lot of revolution talk and this talk and what we going to do talk. But now, this is the world's largest, we right? Eat, it's the America's first. It's not the world's largest. It's America's first. Hmm. But we talk about what we're going to do. But the number one thing you got to do, if you quote, unquote, want to... Revolution, you got to be able to feed yourself. You got to be able to support yourself. And it's got to be organic. It can or it can't be, but you got to do it. Because the revolution <laughs> go down, they like, Kroger's going to be open. Listen, do me a favor. Like you got power. Do me a so favor. for those people like that, 
This is a good thing. This is good for all of us. Yeah, and I, and I have no problem with the farming, the whole aspect. I think it's Look a great you did, thing. Man. Would you please stop? Well, listen, this is What's you and your silly ass uh, Instagram technology. No, this is just you. The bottom line is this. Why don't you explain to people how this process of the organic farming is done? Well, that's what's called an urban farming and Now, listen, listen to this. It's a nonprofit. So, you go there, you get all the information. Now, there's a lot of people growing food. You can work, like, say you're in an apartment. You have, like, the little window sills, you know, a uh, little window box. You put this is right in the there, city of know. Detroit. That's everywhere, honestly. It's just Detroit has... A lot of vacant. I miss the squalor and the, I'm not gonna call it know, squalor. Let's just say it's, it's been squalor. neglected. It's squalor. And they're bringing it back and they're making it squalor useful. It's a beautiful thing. Learn. It's something that helps all of us because we all need fresh produce. We all need this to survive. How fresh is it? It's a bit. What do you mean? It's, it's coming right out of the ground. What do you mean? How, how fresh how, is it? How is it growing? Have you explained the uh, the growth process? The, he's gross. So he wants me to talk about the fact that they have public compost toilets because you know. Wait a minute, what? Compost is when you use waste to help get a story of some life. You know, like if you're planting some crops and some people use manure and different things like that, what they're using is they're taking people's waste and they're flushing it and it's going into a public (laughs) compost, which is going to make the soil richer. See, these are the kind of things that make a child laugh. Wait a minute, so... Do do. (laughs) It's it's so funny. so So on a farm... They use See? chicken, cow, and Everybody's the animals shit. You know, the animals You, you just eat can't wait to say that. The earth, yeah, yeah, and then the animals give it back. And then they throw banana peels and stuff like that There's that goes into the earth and does all that. But you mean to tell me, and it's not, I'm sorry, this is happening in the D. And, you know, you Why mean you to tell me. Why are you sorry? Did not you the not the farm. Did I mention the produce is provided for free? I don't Can have a problem. Well, it ought to be free so if you're going to use human shit to grow the stuff. 300 different types of fruit. If you're going to use human shit to grow the stuff, it ought to be goddamn What's free. What's the difference between human and animal? What is the difference between? What's the difference? Humans have the capability of so using good. a toilet and wiping thine ass. Animals don't. They go? have to shit in the ground. Where does it go? I mean, why can't we use animal manure? I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I would rather go there than into the water supply. Well, I don't want it to it's go either. It's going to the water supply now. I don't want it to go either. It's got to go somewhere. Well, I don't drink that shit. <laughs> you're drinking it now, yes, you so do. I don't... You listen, just, you just, you're listen, just bottled and you're paying listen, for it. Listen, listen, listen. You do drink it. The, uh, the bottom line is, well, I've been, they let them lie to me. But, I mean, look, this the bottom point. line is this. This is a real they have, to make it a They joke. have right. a human organic farm that's grown so off of using shit. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm not just saying it. just, okay, doo-doo. Bowel movements. Human now bowel. So that food. means that, now, think about the diet of the majority of my people that's in Detroit. Matter, they eat pork, they eat pig, no, and no. a lot of their human compost, really? as you put it, is full of trichnia worms really? and full of all compost. kinds of bullshit that's going that's into that organic. So the how that doesn't or- live outside the body, fool. Well, you, you're a, you're a trichnia worm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you've defied the odds. Producer, do you tell me do something with <laughs> So you're saying that human, animal waste is more, um, organic. Organic. Yeah, it's that's organic. That's right. Animal waste, because we also eat the animal. Oh, See, it's the same thing. But we eat a lot of other bullshit, too. Feeding? Animals don't drink liquor. What do you think they're, they're feeding factory-fed animals? Look at Isaiah Thomas trying to fight. What do you think <coughs> they're feeding factory-fed animals? The same thing. Well, I mean, I'm not talking about those are not organic animals. Okay, we're going to move on. I eat organic food. You mean we do. Truly organic food. Would you if I'm going to eat an animal, I'll you eat organic food. Shit from the animal, but I'm not. I'm sorry. You gonna tell me that if cousin Pookie, cousin Pookie is shitting in the damn ground, that I'm gonna eat something that that son of a bitch contributed to? Y'all find it some Are you crazy? Y'all find it some <laughs> No, I mean seriously. You think of all the the the. The uh, Do I won't use the n word. Um, know. the niggas that we know back in Detroit. With the shit they eat and the, the crazy nights they have at floods oh, and everywhere dude, really? Come and on, they, man. Dude, they boo-boo on? and you're going to eat that? Well, I can't hear you. What'd you say? I'm just asking you. Your is right with me. Jesus. Lord have Murphy. How do we get people back on track? How do we get people back on track to help the living, sir? Let's use cow manure like we've been doing. Hey, man, how that, dude? This is I'm not using pookie shit. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just I'm you. sorry, man. I'm not, I'm not, why, is we, why are we arguing about this? I'm not arguing. You're this gonna eat stupid. a human being's doo doo? Really? But that's what it is, man. Okay. You would. You see, you, you he picks things dumb. just to uh, look at Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. They're commenting on your dumbness. Thank you. No, they're commenting because it's the fucking truth. And y'all are back in Detroit Come eating on. it. Just remember, when y'all go to that farm, y'all sitting up there eating JD's shit. And just, really? just know that's, that. That's what's happening. Just know it. Earl and Pookie and um, all these other people. Thank you very much, Nisa. Who agrees? Thank you, AT. Who agrees? Lisa, Thank you. People take medicine. Or <laughs> yeah, oh, human oh, centipede. That's, that's a that's another scary Lisa, movie. They shoot <laughs> these animals with all them steroids. Plus, they shoot up all kind of points. Look at Rakia. Bloop. Worse than burp. <laughs> and some actually, the chickens are getting hit with burp control. Now Arnie like doesn't. Arnie them. doesn't even know where these places right are. Either. Arnie, it's that, it's actually it's his, what's it called? Earthworm or something? No, well, I mean it's right on the, my Facebook. Page. Earthworks, I think it's called. But it's a bunch of them, but it's it's a lot of organic farms in the city. Yeah? Arnie, do you oh, know that you're helping to contribute to growing that really? organic, even though you've never been there? When you take a dump, they it's, put yeah, it in the what they call it, the compost. Michigan Urban Farming Initiatives, all volunteer nonprofit. They looks, put it in the compost. That's my guess. Is this around so, here? I wonder. Wait a second. You know what? I don't want to eat recycled food and medicine from people. You won't. When, See what? Okay, straight up. <laughs> I can't even go going here. <laughs> what? It's going in the soil. <laughs> what? What's this going makes in the, the soil? soil richer what? and fertile because it's not burnt. What's out. going in the soil? This is, man, this is the circle of life, dude. But what's going in the soil? Listen, I, I, I miss something. Cows eat the grass. Okay. But okay. Right. Humans don't eat grass, but humans eat the cows. Okay, what happens you next? You keep on eating the cows. The cows are going to kill you, human. We're going to put <laughs> you in the ground. You're going to decompose. That's the circle well, that's of life. that's why you got to eat broccoli. And your body eventually is going to become and string the soil beans. and grass. My favorite. Okay. It is what it is. It's going to happen anyway. Well, what? Ashes to ashes. So dust how are they dust. making the soil rich with the organic farm in Detroit? You, what do they use? I would, I would talk about your schools, but I actually work for them. So I, I do understand why I you don't understand I don't this. care. It's, I, it's, I, it I would do be the truth. Why you they're don't fighting again. This. Isaiah, tell what the hell's wrong with the Boston and the Raptors. Hey, but, uh, it's been... <laughs> Listen, we got one more topic. I'm tired of this. I, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. If y'all want to eat boo boo, thank you, Kim. Soils are depleted of multiple nutrients. We putting them back in. What we're putting them back we're in? We're not talking about doo doo. We're breaking it down. Okay, to iron. You people Nitrogen, are eating organic bananas. Just think about that when y'all go to the farm. And do what you think. Yeah. All the organic stuff comes from this. Animal this shit. Is a fact. I'll eat animal all shit. All organic stuff rises right out the here. ass. I don't I care. Oh, that, that was when, disgusting. When that was nasty. Organic, I mean, look. That's what it's coming from. Well, I don't have a problem because it's animal organics. I just don't see the uh, the uh, logic of you're eating. You're not eating a turd, fool. You are eating a turd. You just no, said that not. they took the turd, put it in the it's compost, the put it in the ground, the circle of life, the fertile soil of pooky shit making your bananas and organic oranges grow. I don't, that, you, you know, I'm going to ship you a whole boatload of them damn things. Okay, can we move on? I mean, is your... We the, move on or are we moving our bowels? <laughs> that was right on time. I told you on Cardinal Segway. You gonna say what you gonna say about tax return? About who? Alkaline water is great. I drink alkaline water every day. Dude, come on. What? You told me. What? What up, Aaron? What did I tell you? You had a take on folks with what? I forgot. The tax return. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> right. Astronaut <laughs> Science and Movie Marsh. I almost yeah, forgot. What's that drinking? To survive. Exactly. If if I'm in space, I, I I'm gonna have to make some kind of concessions because really? I gotta eat for kids. You I are mean, in, you are in space. If I'm if I'm in space, in space. I might eat an actual turd. I'm I'm you know I'm in space. Right, I can't right. just stop at Don't Mars and get me you know right, a man, Martian come on, sandwich. Come on, man. You know we got, we got, I mean got. look you know we closing this out, man. We know no, it's I'm tax going, season, going man. Well, I mean I'm coming with it, man. I mean it, and speaking of paying for things and whatnot and boo boo, uh, it's tax yeah. season and y'all are getting y'all tax returns and I want to speak on the fiscality <laughs> of 
the black community. We talked about exactly. Dr. Dre giving money up, and all that stuff I mean, to who we want. But the bottom line watch is show, a lot of you all no, who on. get your tax returns, really? you take it and you fuck off the money you with You like it. telling me about to spend their money. Well, I'm not telling them how to spend it. I'm just saying that we are a problem. Okay, huh. the reason why we don't because we live for April 15th. Who's we specifically? Negras. And yeah. I'm most, mostly That's talking it. about the, no, the no 20 somethings, the not. young ones. Oh, okay. You know, who take their tax money and just, you should that's, see all that's, these that's Facebook posts. Oh, it. I just got, bought me a car. Oh, I just bought me some shoes. I bought me, I can't wait to get my tax How return. So How many do that? Well, I mean, listen, they got four or five goddamn babies. It's older than 20. They got four and five goddamn well, babies. You're not getting me? a tax return for babies. What do you mean they're not getting the tape? They, you get they, a loop for babies. They claiming them kids left and goddamn right. Man, it ain't too many. Them little girls getting paid. It ain't too many five year uh, kids with four or five. I mean, ain't too many folks in their twenties with four or five kids is putting in hours like that. Oh, they please. Well, they lying. Well, they, well, they lying. Them older people claim it for. Well, I didn't say they was telling the truth. I mean, you know, look, they got four, five, six babies. They get they claiming them dependents and they getting paid. Okay. But the bottom line is all Aaron, I'm saying all money I'm, stays in black community six hours. That's it. Aaron, that would be legal money. Yeah, illegal money. Stays Aaron, you giving money. us a lot of credit, man. I would have said two and oh, a half. Nah. I would say illegal money stays a whole lot of money. Well, that's I mean money, illegal that's money. That's money going to the hair. Brands, that's all we do. To the underground Ubers, to the daycare centers. To the smokers. I'm just this saying, man. A whole lot longer, man. Do we have to post longer. our tax return? Yeah, I have, man. I have actually seen people post their tax returns on Facebook. Like, that's pretty dope. Because they ain't never made the. Do you gonna post yours? Mm. Yeah. Okay. You're not even gonna file. But, but I mean, look. The the, the the bottom line is this, man. I mean, keep your money black, and, and give that? it to the cardinal. How do you do that? Give it to the cardinal. That that be about the most unblack thing. You give it about. to for show and give it to the cardinal. For show, yes. Because I'm I, I got to get him out of here. Okay. In fact, since he is a turd, I'd like to put him in the ground and see if I can grow a goddamn orange. Really? Yeah. So that was my take on that. Is that all you had to say? That's all I had to say. I just had that little bit to say. Hey y'all, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Want to let you know this show is 8:05 p.m. every Friday Eastern Standard. If you haven't hit the share button in that lower share right Share this corner, right now, God now damn Now's it. your time. I'm tired of looking at the show now, seeing the same six, seven hundred views. We need to and put listen. this. And listen. We need to put this thousand plus. You got some if, friends that's digging this. We should you got be some organic. friends going like this. We do this every week. We need to make this happen. You know what? Thank How you. How do Yolanda. we keep our money black? Oh, you know what? I'm going to go there. Uh, other just put that there. It's a lot of ways we can keep our money black. The number one thing we can do that a lot of us don't do Give it is to just niggas. take a hundred dollars and put it in a black bank. And there's plenty. If you want me to post a list on the link, I will. Put a hundred dollars in a black bank. That's one way. Take a little bit of money and spend it with a black bank. I was gonna say give it to and me. Then get online and talk about it. I'll keep black it black business. than a motherfucker. Okay? Don't have higher expectations for it. I'll black take business. a pencil. Oh, man, she wants examples. I'm giving her some. You are an example. Don't have a higher expectation on a black business you have on anything else. Thank you, Brian, for sharing. Aaron, I need you to share. Good looking out, Nick, Beasley. I need you to share. Put your money in a black bank. Spend it with some black folks. Just hold on to it. A revolutionary way to keep your money black is to keep 10% in your money. Or pocket. give it to USC. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Support businesses with your black friends. Kim is a vendor, you all, for show family. Kim Ross, check her out. When folks are doing I got my vitamins. YouTube. I'm sorry, not YouTube. YouTube or Facebook and you see it, just share it. It's a lot of ways we can make this happen. Instead of just talking about what we don't do, it's so much that we do do. We can keep <laughs> that moving. I just knew he was going to do something stupid. <laughs> what? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff we can do. It's organic. And that's what we want to do here. Look at that. Now here in D.C. we have Industrial Bank. In Detroit, they have First National. Atlanta have four or five. There are black insurance companies or black insurers. There's black realtors. There's a lot of ways we can keep them up. Just strong. if somebody has a black business, just go buy, up, buy some Hollis. shit from them. You came at the end, Just man. buy some shit from them. Not you know? just that. Buy it, but then share what you did. When something good happens, talk about it. 
A lot of times we talk about the negative, but a positive. Kim, post thought, a link up about your a black positive business. thought is a thousand times more powerful than something negative. Hmm. So let's just kind of roll with that positive. So they can man. support. And in that spirit, share this show. Share this show. And it don't cause in. nothing to do that. Share the show with friends and family because we want to be mm. on a set, on satellite radio. We want to bring you all with us. I can't wait till we get big because I'm going to get rid of this. Second Tuesdays, nigga. Second, excuse me, second Fridays every week is Pump Yourself Friday. You have to come on here, pump your business, pump your friends' business, make it happen. This is not just a TV show. Straight up, this is a community. That's right. This is a community. Eric Claude Anderson needs to give you some money because you pump him constantly. Good brother, <coughs> you pump him. Bye. Bye. Mm. With that being said, this is for Show Radio, Friday, February 24th, 2017. I think y'all should cardinal. strike a pose I mean, and give to Organic good, Farming doo-doo on the